Hello everyone, it's Josie Knight here and I'm a writer for Team Breeze and I'm going to be answering some questions. If you had to pick one, would it be track or road racing? Now if I had to pick either track or road racing, I think I would go track racing. It would be pretty tricky decision because I love both of them but you really can't beat the thrill of whizzing around the velodrome. What are you doing to keep fit during lockdown? To keep fit during lockdown I'm riding my bike so as you know we're lucky to, enough to be allowed one exercise per day so I'm using that to get out on my bike and do some efforts and some base miles and then I'm using the extra time we have at home to do extra things like core and yeah just to keep all round fit there's some great online classes and I've also been doing a bit of yoga which is really good because I didn't do enough stretching and stuff so it's good to be getting yeah flexible um, what is the next big goal that you have in mind so the next big goal I have in mind is well it's a bit difficult because with all the uncertainty we're not sure you know what's actually going to happen and when it's going to start but the next big goal would be I'd like to get selected for the Senior Track Europeans which was supposed to be in October but I think they've been rescheduled for 11th to the 15th of November so hopefully they'll be going ahead. What is your favourite cycling memory? Um, my favourite cycling memory is probably from this year actually, back in January, seems ages ago now doesn't it? Um, but at Track Nationals so I won the Individual Pursuit which was really special because I've not been on the program for that long and at track nationals two years ago so not this year but last year um, I was at track nationals trying to meet a time to get selected onto the program and it was so stressful and I think I hit my time and I came like maybe sixth place but the relief to have hit my time and then yeah have a place on the program was so great that then to come back the next year with none of the pressure of trying to make it onto the programme or anything and just enjoy it and actually try and do a good performance was really nice and then to win was really special so I think that's, it was also my first national title which was a pretty, pretty big deal to me anyway to be standing on the podium and pulling on a national champs jersey was yeah really special so I think that's my favourite cycling memory so far but hopefully we'll make many more. If you weren't a full-time cyclist, what career would you have pursued? So if I wasn't a full-time cyclist, I think I would have pursued a career in interior design. I really, really like just, yeah, being creative. Um, I just used to do a lot of sewing and drawing. I'm not very good at drawing though. Um, but yeah, I'm just really interested in all, all things house. I love looking at wallpapers and just yeah, I love all the house programs on TV. I'd love to be on like one of those grand design programs, designing houses. So I think I'd have been an interior designer. Six. Who's your cycling role model? So my that's a bit difficult actually. My my cycling role model would probably be well. I have quite a few actually. I think um, I really admire Pauline Ferron Prevo just because she's dealt with, she was so good and you know when she won Road Worlds in 2014 I really remember that because she was quite young but she won and that was like the start of this amazing career but then she's just had injury after injury and she had to have a major operation at the beginning of last year and she managed to bounce back from it to win two world titles last year in the um, mountain bike CXC and in the marathon and I just thought it was incredible how she just overcame you know the injury that had taken her out for so long and managed to bounce back so well and then she's injured again now with the same issue and I follow her on Instagram just the way she deals with it in a really positive way I just really admire that um, but then also there's obviously Laura Kenny um, I really looked up to her and still do actually when I was growing up and watching her on the track, I just, yeah, wanted to be her. If you could guarantee achieving one thing in your career, what would you choose? If I could 
guarantee achieving one thing in my career, I think I'd have to choose an Olympic gold medal. I think that's everyone's dream um, and it's been mine for a long time ever since watching Laura, Danny and Joe win gold in London in 2012. I wasn't even really riding a bike then but I just remember watching it and thinking wow that's incredible that's what I'd like to do. So I think if I had to choose one it would be Olympic gold but I still want to win rainbow jerseys and European jerseys too. Why did you choose cycling? And at what age did you start to take it really seriously? Um, so I chose cycling because, basically because I just, I loved all sports and I did everything in school. I did cross country running, basketball, all sports, um, but I was never really good at any of them. But I really wanted to be and I took them all really seriously. <laughs> and just wanted, I think I want, really wanted to be a professional athlete, I thought it would be really cool. And then um, through my dad we started cycling and going on these cycling holidays and yeah I just used to do it a lot just for enjoyment and to get places and then I did a, a race when I was 15 or so and just loved it and yeah haven't looked back since. But I only started to take it really seriously probably from the age of 17, so when I went into the junior ranks, um, that was when I probably started yeah, taking a bit more seriously and actually thinking that I'd like to do it full time. What is the one thing you miss about cycling at the moment that you didn't expect to? The one thing I miss about cycling most at the moment, and it's not that I didn't really expect to because it was probably one of the main things that would be different with this lockdown because obviously we're still allowed to ride our bikes so we still are cycling but I just really miss my teammates so all my other Team Breeze teammates we all live close to each other and we'd always usually train together and go out in groups so for our, my long rides on my own I've been really missing my teammates actually so yeah I would where is your favourite place to train on the road? It's so my favourite place to train on the road Abroad is probably Mallorca. I just love going there. I love them. Well, the weather's nice for one. That's a big bonus. And then I just love the roads. I think you've got a really good balance between hilly or flat. And there's just so many nice little lanes. So many cyclists. And the whole island is really geared towards welcoming cyclists and cycling. And so yeah, I've just really enjoyed training there. My one of my favourite climbs is Sacalobra. If you ever go to Mallorca, I 100% recommend doing Sacalobra. It's long and hard, but it's really worth it. It's beautiful. But then, in Britain, I think my favourite place to train is probably the Peak District, which is lucky because that's where I live, on the edge of the Peak District. Um, but again, it's similar to Mallorca in that you can go flat towards Alderley Edge and Wilmslow and Nutsford and all around there so you've got the nice flat roads if you fancy it or if you fancy going hilly you can go up the Cam Fiddle or Brickworks or Long Hill, Goit Valley they're all incredible roads and then you yeah just the whole Peak District is incredible and there's lots of trails to get onto and amazing amazing views so I would say in Britain my favourite place is the Peak District but if I could choose somewhere abroad I'd say Mallorca so that's all my questions done, um, thanks for asking all the questions and I hope my answers were somewhat interesting. Thank you!